All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. I am Captain Beefy here with the Game Vault today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to also leave a comment and a like on the video down below. And share us on social media if you enjoy what you see. Oh, yeah. That's badass. So we got the Twin Blade a little while back. I can't remember what boss or event led to that. But we've also, we've been doing some leveling up and um, just having a, an overall blast with this character and everything going on here. So, um, yeah, so we, we found a new farming route. You can see the advanced rune farming video in my Elden Ring tips uh, uh, playlist. And it recently got us well over um, well over a million runes. I mean, where we stand right now, we are grossly over-leveled at 114. So, yeah, it's just kind of sick right now. But that's okay. We're having fun. Learning the game on this initial playthrough, and it's really a blast. So I wanted to do some more exploring of this area. Get to see more of it and what's going on here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to check out whatever building this is down here. And then go from there. But I'm feeling like, you know, I wanted to try out this new weapon. Uh, we've been, you know, we started with the katana. Then we got the flail and leveled the hell out of that. And quite frankly, the flail is the... It was a solid weapon, uh, don't get me wrong, it got me uh, through a lot of fights, and I appreciate it. It got me through a couple pretty solid bosses. Um, but, yeah, overall, nothing spectacular, not that interesting of a... Not that interesting of a weapon, so... It's kind of fun to try something new out. That's exactly what we're doing. We're also focusing a little on medicine. I'm not medicine. <laughs> I'm looking at the fact that I'm poisoned, thinking, oh, I need medicine. Um, but we're also trying out some incantations and some sorceries, stuff like that. So just trying to get a feel for different aspects of the game right now. And see how those different abilities play out and all. I think pretty soon we're going to just go for a uh, end game run. I think we're probably leveled enough to do something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But in any case, it'll be fun to uh, advance the story a little bit. But for now, like I said, we're going to Go ahead and explore this area a little bit more because I want to see what all this area has to offer. And is there anything else interesting here that we can mess around with? And Oh yeah, we came here before. We ran through here. And there's a big guy in there. So we'll just wreck these guys. At least the little ones. And then we'll go see what this big guy has to offer. Now he's no tougher than one of those. Ooh, demi human queen staff. And crystal burst, okay. Well, some new stuff for the mages, the mage type builds. 
So that's solid. That was definitely a win. There's some more demi humans over here. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, whatever it is, it's history. Cool. Anything else interesting here? How about in this building. Eh, caught between two trees. Always annoying. Is that what I think it is? Yep. Look at that. A gold-eyed owl. That's kind of funny. All right, well, we got a skull out here. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. They're way up there. Coffin ahead. Coffins teleport you. Hmm. Look at that. Just as I was about to say, yeah, I think we're done here. We find a way downstairs. So let's hop off. Our dude. Open this door and see what's going on. Just a chest. And let's see what kind of thing it has. Shield of the Guilty. That's interesting. Let's see what the Shield of the Guilty is all about. It causes blood loss buildup? What? Oh, that's kind of badass. So if I equip that... This sword... Why do I have madness growing on me and something else? Is that down in that room? Must have been inflicted by a creature out there that I was fighting and I didn't notice it. Okay. Actually got a cool shield, and if I pair that up with my uh, katana or my flail, then we should really be able to inflict blood loss quickly on en enemies. Start working on an actual build that focuses on that. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie, that was a great find. I'm glad we looked there. Now let's see. If there's anything? of note up here. Some 
bats up ahead. Quite a few of them. Come on. There's one more. Yeah, he's way over there. All right, let's go get him. I'm pretty sure we've been to this church, but if not, we're about to. Oh, I like that swing. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah, we've been here. I think there's some dudes in the graveyard and... Oh, look at that. Oh, I do like that heavy attack. Mounted, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we've been to this church already. else is interesting in this area? I don't know what that is. That's all those ruins, and I'm not sure what this is. Let's check out whatever that is. far uglier than it had to be. And, oh, look at that. Alright, we got some other kind of building here, so... Let's see if there's anything of interest here. Got some nasty rats. Tomb sword, sword ruins. And there is definitely a path down. Alright, cool. <coughs> Let's make sure all the mice are dead. that way. So, whoop, we go down. Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone? Nope. Nothing in here? Maybe I've already been in here? <laughs> Why is it always weak foe? Oh yeah, that guy was weak. Oh, okay. That was the way in.
And looks like we got a door here. And another chest. Cool. Let's see what this one is. The wing scythe. Ooh. That sounds like a cool weapon. Let's check it out real quick. We'll need more faith for that. It causes blood loss buildup. Another, uh... Another cool weapon for a bleed type build. And isn't that sweet? Freaking rats. Okay, so we've done that. Isolated Merchant Shack, Fourth Church of Marika. Pretty sure we did the Tomb Sword Cave. And then we did Castle Morn and all that. Is that a mine? That might be a mine. Well, let's go check that out. That might be some kind of catacomb. I think that on the map indicates like a catacomb of some sort or a mine or something. Underground area. I wonder if we can go through here. Yeah, no. This is not a very forgiving land here, you know. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of roadblocks in a way. But I get it, it's kind of a a cool way to keep uh, a player contained to a certain area without putting uh, something silly up like an invisible wall that disappears after a while or something like that. So I get it, it's cool. Alright, let's keep moving. Following the wrong beacon. Where the hell is it? Get it disappeared. That's what I thought. If you put a bunch of them down, the oldest disappears. So if you can't find your beacon on the map to get rid of it, just do what I just did. I put what five down and it disappeared, and I just put a new one up. So I don't know where exactly that occurred. What do we got here? And I saw something interesting up here, I thought, right? Yeah, look at this. That looks like he's pointing us in a direction of something. This might be a nice little underground area or something. That's kind of cool. We're going to check it out. Okay, we have not been here. Let's go ahead and rest it up. OK, 
Okay, right off the bat. Check out that dude. We're going in. Oh no! It's not letting me, uh... Ah, oh, it's doing that stupid thing. There we go. It doesn't let me swing my weapon. It's really annoying. Okay. Crisis averted. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number 9. So let's see what that does for us. Because I've been looking for... Rancor pot. Okay. I want to find the one that does the uh, stuff to get rid of the Scarlet Rot. Because that is a SOB right now, let me tell you. This kind of looks like a potential danger area. That's not. I'm sure this door is blocked by some kind of mechanism. Yep. Now we got to get rid of that. And I don't know how. Okay, triangle. God, doing it wrong. Yeah, we've got a functioning summoning pool. Well, this is always helpful. it. That's it for now. Let's continue on. That was rather messy. Not my proudest moment. Arrow stuck in my head. And we need to find a way up there. I have a feeling we're going to face a boss in here. Just a feeling. That's fire. Hey, we knocked it down. Cool. You gonna wake up? Why did I have that feeling? Why did I have that feeling? Oh, yeah. 
that's how that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get up here. And I'm a dumbass. This brings us up to the upper level, I think. Yeah, this is it. We first came down. Yeah, I bet that's the door. So we can't open it again, okay? That's probably the door that was right up here. Where the hell was it? This is it, yeah. Yeah. And there's a boss here. Well, let's check it out. some damage to him. And he's done. Tell the headless we got a new looks like a spirit summon that is freaking sweet It's very sweet, okay well, We haven't really finished through here, so But that was awesome So let's go back down and finish this uh, finish this area off. Where was it? This way. Right? Hello? Oh, this way. Good lord. their madness building up on me. Yeah, 
Yikes! Roll, roll, roll! Alright, that's getting annoying. Alright, we're getting out of here. Come on. We gotta regroup. Got what we came for in here. That's what's important, even though we didn't know what we were coming for. She got quite a few new things this time around. We may even be able to uh, upgrade one of those ashes here soon. Still looking for that one spot. Which seems to be out this way. What do we got here? Ooh. Do you hear that? Crazy. We are definitely going down and checking that out. Sounds like it's coming from down here. I guess it was her. Must have been. There's nobody singing anymore. All right, well, that was cool. All right, well, back toward our uh, original destination before we got distracted twice but there's no reason to like pass these things up you know we're not on a mission right now other than just exploring the area and getting a trying to collect up whatever goodies are here
lots of bats. Lots of bats. All right. Lots of lightning. More bats. Are these guys spawning in from this? I don't think so. They're probably just all roosting. No, that sounded like a spawn in. That looks way too far to jump. <laughs> they don't really foresee any way to go back up, so we've got to go down, but down where? That's definitely death. Something hidden. Can we make that jump? Hopefully. No. Yep. Well, I figured that would happen. But it was worth a try. bridge down there. That's kind of cool. Alright, well let's try and get back over there. Recover our runes and then maybe we'll just fast travel out and approach from a different direction. Sorry, Mr. Tortoise. You hate to see it happen, buddy. guys are all dead. I don't care what they say. He's stuck on me. That's kind of funny. 
All right, got him unstuck. All right, may as well gather these up while we're here. I don't know if these attract the lightning or if they grow because of the lightning. It feels like... Oh yeah, look at those guys up there. So they're not spawning and they're just waking up. All right. So we can fast travel out. Let's do that for now. Maybe if we approach it from this direction, we'll do a little better. Although, what is this now? I don't think we ever explored this building. I guess it's not so much a building as it is just a hunk of a wall. Well, what's this over here? This guy's had a little madness to him. Mm, is there anything here? Looks like a way in, doesn't it? All right, I guess there's nothing there. So we'll approach this area from the opposite direction now. But we're not going to go down there. Since we've already seemed to find what happens down there. Instead, we're going to look at coming in from the other direction. Oh, there's that bridge. Nope, too far. <laughs> Damn it. Too far. Well. We'll go back and recover those runes, and we'll continue this mission in the next episode. Thank you for joining me for Elden Ring. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. And leave a comment and a like on the video down below. Let me know what you think of the series. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying the tips and tricks and all the other stuff we're presenting here? I'm having a blast with the game. I'm way over leveled for what I'm doing, but you know what? It, it's fun because it's going to catch up, and I know it's going to catch up very quickly, you know? Even at a grossly over-leveled place like this, my gear is, eh, it's okay, you know. But I know I'm going to come across a foe that's just going to frustrate the living crap out of me. And I'm looking forward to that. So don't forget also to share us on social media if you would. It is appreciated as always, and I will see you next time.